Welcome to the cloud. Yes, my friends, hold on to those ducktails because life is like a hurricane here in Disney Sorcerer's Arena. We have one event going out and another one coming straight back in in the form of Scrooge's Money Bin Heist. So how is everybody doing today? As promised, I hope you enjoyed that little intro I put together there for you. It was a lot of fun making it, and if you enjoyed that kind of thing, maybe we can do some more. Comment down below, like, subscribe, and let me know. We'll have some fun here on the channel. But without further ado, let's dive on into this new event and see if we can make some coins rain down on us. Because everyone knows the bottleneck in this game is definitely the gold shortage. So, let's have a look just went live today and it's only running for two days and uh, you're gonna need the downtown characters which I'm really excited about because as you know if you've been following I have pretty much the full downtown team seven starred I don't have five of them which is what you need to get to the top tier but I do have four of them seven starred already so we're gonna get pretty high up the tiers here so let's get into it okay Scrooge's money bin heist Okay, it's very kindly letting me know how many coins I own. Oop, no, it's taking me to the store. No, I don't want to buy any. You're about to give me a whole bunch of free coins, right? Okay, let's find out how generous Mr. Scrooge is being today. So, he has tons of health. Scrooge McDuck's abilities are empowered. Okay. I guess we're going to find out the kit on Scrooge McDuck if you haven't managed to get him already. The requirements here are pretty low on the first. Hopefully it's going to be reasonably easy. Let's get into this. Got all my downtown characters here. I only need three out of three, so I guess I'll take my aerial in. Oops. Change my leader ability, probably because he is the downtown leader. All right, first battle. Bit of a glitch there. I guess it's loading the new content. Like I said, I was going to do this with you guys, and if there's kind of proof, hasn't even loaded into the system yet. Oh, nice. Actually, inside his swimming vault. Okay, um, there he is. Okay, they've got some of those mechanical dogs, and the bears in the suits. Let's hit them with what I usually go with. Let's see how tough level one is. I got a taunt going there already. No, nope, they went down pretty easy. Screw just looking a little tanky, but like I said, this is level one, so let's big bad wolf him <laughs> all down. Oh, nice. Buried underneath the gold as an attack. Um, wonder if he does that in a normal situation or whether it's just in this environment. Okay, send in the Duke. It's never a bad thing. Still alive. There you go, seven new seven star syndrome for the win. That one seemed pretty easy, and we got three stars on that. Uh, let's continue here. Number two. Oh, you can auto win that now. Complete of one of two. I guess you can only do two a day, and you can't refresh it. Um, that doesn't seem right. All right, let's go in the second one and see what happens. Okay, number two, three of four characters required. Okay, you know what? I just realized I got all excited about the event and kind of forgot. My Shen Yu is not a downtown character, so we're going to have to replace him and Errol for the next couple of stages. Uh, we got Zerg, though, at four stars, so we're going to be able to do that. And I guess Ariel can stay in there, or would I rather have my Shan Yu? You know what? We're going to leave that there for the leadership ability for the extra health, just in case. 
because I want to three star this one as well. So I'm not predicting this is going to be particularly difficult based on the last one. And these guys are pretty well maxed out. So here we go again. Number two. Yep, it's basically the same setup, so... It doesn't seem that much tougher. I like that move. Alright. I don't even think I'm gonna use my spell. It's just Scrooge again. Alright, why not? Do kaboom! Okay. This time didn't manage to take him down by Syndrome, but uh, let's use this ridiculously overpowered shot thing just to finish him off. And that, I guess we'll do it for our event here. We're only allowed to play two a day. No, that didn't even kill him. He really is uh, having a high health pool there. Okay, this has got to finish him off now. Big Bad Wolf, giant hit, special. There you go. Slow-mo. Another easy three stars. Also, in my excitement, I forgot to look at how many coins we got in the last one. I believe it was 90,000. Uh, so that's right in the middle of the range. Not bad. And then this one, we got 125. Let's see what the range for the second tier was. Okay. A little on the lower end, the uh, spread there was 120 to do 150,000, but that's still a lot of coins for them to be giving away, which is pretty good. Okay, 90,000, yeah, was in the mid range of between 70 and 100,000 for the first one. So I can request an attempt, but I can't refresh it, which I guess they're stopping you from just spamming a refresh button. You could spend your gems on, but you can request an attempt. I might do that, but I guess we're not going to be able to go as far as we thought today. And I'm going to need the extra star on my Zerg or any other downtown who is, he's my closest anyway to get in there. Or I might try and unlock Facilier. So that's not as far as I wanted to go today, but let's try doing something else instead then. So I guess that is how this event is structured. We were gonna go through it together and learn how this worked, and that is how it works. It is only event over two days. And barring anyone of my lovely club sending me an extra attempt there, that's all I can do for today. All right. So inevitably, when one of these rolls around, there's going to be a way for you to accelerate if you don't have these downtown characters. And I guess, all right, nope, it's the Daily Valley pack, defense pack. There you go. You can buy a pack for $39.99, which will get you, I guess, 50 will unlock Pete at a level high enough to get into at least that first tier, because that's three star. And then you got the rest of these guys. You only get 10. So I'm not sure that works out so great. Um, we still got the Cave of Wonders stuff here. And there you go. Downtown Villains Pack. What do you get out of this? Does what it says on the tin. Downtown Villains Pack. You can get tokens for all the downtown villains. So, who am I closest to? Probably Facilier here. And then... No, everyone else is pretty far off being able to go 5 star. Seems like a pretty good deal for Zerg. I mean, on average, if you buy something out of the store or you have to do a refresh with your gems on one of the heroes or villains nodes it's it works out to be about 50 gems per token so at 800 for 20 you're gonna get some guaranteed coins 
and then you're also gonna get, it works out to, that's 40. Uh, it's gonna be 40 gems per token that you get out of this pack. So let's see what the odds are on this. First card. Oh, okay, that's not great there on Zerg. Um, he was right at the top of the list and he is the lowest percentage in the drop rate. I mean, he is one of the bigger chase characters, so it kind of makes sense that they're just not going to give him away, but that's a little misleading there, sticking him at the top of the list. I guess you could argue he is the marquee character. Uh, who else am I going to get out of this? Yeah, probably Jangles uh, is going to be the next best after your main ones. Demona, Syndrome, Big Bad Wolf. I mean, Randall's pretty good. He's in some of the higher tier tournament teams that I've come across. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get one of these. Add a little excitement to the video and see if we can get any closer to getting into that next tier. Also give you guys a chance to see what you get out of one of these things. All right, two cards. Ooh, why is, is that one? Okay, that's going to be the character. I'm going to assume this is the coin. Yep. All right, 25,000. All right, so who are we going to get out of this? 20 shards of Big Bad Wolf. Not the greatest for me. I have it maxed out. It's a little disappointing. But I guess what that does do is that turns that into more currency for me to chase down Steamboat Mickey. There you go, items converted. Got 200 of those now. Let's have a look at my gem count. I'm gonna wanna spend another 800 on this. And what are the chances I'm gonna pull the exact one that I want? Which would be pretty great while we're doing a video. So, all right, one more, one more. Okay, not as good on the gold this time. And all right, come on, Facilier, Facilier. Let's click it at the bottom here in the skull for Facilier. No, lucked out. Syndrome again, two characters that I already have maxed out. You know what? Third time's a charm, third time lucky and all that. So why don't we just go one more so we can get a better average and see if we can end this on a high. All right, 25,000 back up with the gold. And this time, all right, there we go. Dr. Fracilier. We've got him up to the full 50 shards. So I'm gonna unlock him, which is gonna be good in general. He's a pretty good character all around, and he's the only villain healer. And he is, as far as I know, the only character that can resurrect dead characters in a battle. So, glad we did the third one. It's an exciting way to round this out. I don't know if you want to invest in that just to get yourself a bunch of extra coins. Here we go, Dr. Fracilier. Very nice. But if you're looking to maximize your downtown characters, all right, let's just do this real quick. There he is with his cards. Trust me, when those cards come flying at you in an arena match, it is highly, highly annoying. Okay, we'll do this another time. So if you are thinking of investing in your downtown characters because this event may roll around again, um, it's not a bad way to go. Like I said, 40 gems per token is not particularly bad considering it's on average they're about 50 if you buy the lower level ones in the store. And then you've always got the chance that you're gonna pull that 1.41% on the Zerg. So probably not for this event. You can always get your coins. You're not gonna be able to use them straight away anyway. You're going to be building up your other characters, but downtown for so many of the other game modes and for when this comes around again, 
The fact that they're selling a couple of packs there means that there may be some other thing coming down the line and it's always good to have some synergy teams in your pocket. So how did Scrooge's Money Bin Heist work out for you guys today? Are you considering buying a couple of those villain downtown packs to accelerate your progress for that team? Also, if you would like to see me running around in more classic Disney and Pixar animations, comment down below, like and subscribe, and we will get going on those. And as always, thanks for hanging out. And I will see you guys next time you have your head in the clouds.